thin. When he appears before a governor, Obadiah, Obadiah tells him, No, Elijah, you have a great reputation to be one moment here, and another, another moment the Holy Spirit will bring you somewhere else, and then we know about you. And then when after Elijah was taken, some of the sons of the prophets tell to Elisha, let's go and look for him. Probably the Holy Spirit has take, carried him and put him somewhere else. So it seems to me, as I read it, Elijah had a reputation for such bodily translation. To him, it was a common occurrence. So much so, it was the talk of the town. Everybody knew that he traveled in Elijah Airways. <laughs> Likewise, in these last days, the Elijah company will experience like that. You know, if you read Acts chapter 8, verse 39, we read about Philip being bodily carried from one place to another place a distance of 28 miles bodily carried in just one split second you know there are three kinds of travel in the spirit in the soul and in the body your spirit has an independent individual form and the soul has an independent individual form and all the three can exist separately and have a form. The reality of this was first revealed to me in the year 2008 in Jerusalem. We were conducting our Open Heavens Prophetic Conference there on the last day of the conference as I was waiting upon God four angelic beings appeared in my room and the chief among them spoke to me he said we are so well pleased with the conference that you are doing and then he said you know during this conference your staffs were carrying huge cameras but in the days to come technology will advance so much that a high definition camera will just be the size of a ball pen. You'll just put it in your pocket, you'll just carry it, and film will be greater than high definition. And not only that, it, the images can be wirelessly transmitted to any satellite. And then he said, you know, the soul has a form, the spirit has a form, just like the body, and the, and the soul and the spirit. See, I've, I'm already very familiar with the spirit being able to travel from one location to another location, but I've never ever understood about the soul. The soul can also travel from one point to another point, have a form on its own. So he just leave it as it is and he stirred up my curiosity to know more about that. A few years later, I had another, I saw another vision where another saint sits before me and he gives me an entire theology about the soul being able to travel. Now when we talk about soul here, it does not mean the soulish self. No. The spirit, soul and body. The tripartite man. The soul. And for one hour, that saint, he explained to me how the soul can have a form, how it has a form, how it can independently travel, just like the spirit can travel. So I was so excited. And now I have a theology how it works and 
this year january 5th there was a big prayer meeting in india where 200000 people had gathered for 12 hours of continuous fasting and prayer and there was a prophet friend of mine a minister of god he was ministering that uh, afternoon and there was such an awesome glory of god power of god present in the meeting and as i was quiet before god i saw two angelic beings moses and elijah come and stand before me and they talked to me something and after that they said now look at your brother when i looked i saw two of them one was physically standing at the pulpit and praying then another one of him was kneeling down 2 feet away behind him i thought how is this possible this is not the one that i saw his the part where he was kneeling down it's not the spirit because if the spirit comes out of your body you will not be conscious you'll be like unconscious but here he was fully conscious he is going on preaching prophesizing and another part of him was kneeling down and praying very ardently i saw two and i looked at moses i asked him how is it possible he said didn't we tell you in 2008 this is that the soul being independent two place at the same time doing two different kinds of works so later that evening when we were having dinner i asked my friend you know this is what i saw that morning he said so you know yeah i said he said he was when his soul was kneeling down it was talking with god and getting revelations and at the same time communicating to the spirit in the body what god is revealing and it was speaking forth absolutely possible the soul do you believe all this are you sure yes. you all are great saints well in case you if you have little doubt second kings chapter 5 verse 26 elisha tells his servant kaisi when you were receiving the gifts from naaman when not my heart with you that word heart is not spirit it is the soul so when not my soul with you when the soul travels you can be physically in two place doing two different kinds of works at the same time you can go about your mundane works and at the same time your soul can also be somewhere preaching or delivering or prophesizing doing something in the coming days in the elijah company they'll walk in this realm they'll be bodily taken transported from one place to another place and their spirit will also be taken to go and minister and it can take on a form see angels are wind that's what the bible says they are wind but they can take on a physical form likewise the spirit it can take on a physical form and the soul it can take on a physical form and go and appear to people to do work that is necessary to be done is it far stretch no you all are great saints you all are ready for translation <laughs> amen? amen shall we go on yes. not getting late no. no elijah number 5 challenge kings bold 
to challenge kings. First Kings chapter 18, verses 17 to 19. Likewise, the last days Elijah company, it will challenge those who will be in authority. And prison bars cannot hold you. You know, I shared with you the other day how it is becoming increasingly difficult to speak against homosexuality. That's just the beginning. And more other vices will be become laws. Like what uh, Neville said this morning, the throne of the evil will make laws on the earth. When the laws of evil are enacted on the earth, it will become virtually impossible for the righteous to speak against it. And we put in the bars. When you put, when you're put in the bars, don't worry. That bar is just matter. But you are beyond matter. You can; those bars cannot hold you. You just walk through it. That's the Elijah company. When the guards come to look for you to feed you your food, you are not there. Remember Acts chapter 12. An angel came and set Peter free. As I'm speaking this, I feel very strongly in my spirit right now. The people of God in the last days must be very, very bold. Must have bold faith and fear nothing fear not for your lives because great will be the exploits that you will do great will be the exploits and great will be the empowerment that will come upon you there are many more mysteries about the heavenly life not only heavenly life but heavenly ministry that i don't think we have liberty to share them publicly however i'll give you a clue <laughs> if you read matthew chapter 11 where the lord jesus christ says concerning john the baptist he said if you can believe this is Elijah to come what does that mean John himself said I am not Elijah but here the Lord Jesus says if you can believe this is the Elijah to come he has already come and they do not know and whatever they need to do to him they have already done to him and then he says, if you can believe, which means it is difficult to believe. So that is the clue I leave with you. I will give you another clue. Hebrews chapter 11, the last verse, where it says, the Old Testament saints are not complete without us. What does it mean they are not complete without us? So, are they waiting for some kind of completion? That when the two families are joined together, their ministry is completed? But how will they perform their ministry if they are no more in flesh and blood? I should not go any further. <laughs> But this is for you to meditate what all this means. This is Elijah to come. They are not complete without us. So they are waiting for the final culmination.
Elijah number 6 has power over nature he commands fire to come down and in the last days we read in revelation chapter 11 verse 6 the elijah company will command fire to come down they'll have authority over nature even fire comes out of their mouth number 7 Elijah kills all the false prophets. Likewise, we have some killings to do. <laughs> you know, I encourage you please read Joel chapter 2 verses 1 to 11. It is an army, you know, an army that has weapons in its hands. that's the last days army he talks very clearly about the last days joel's army that has weapons in his hand number 8 elijah did his ministry also in the spirit if you read second chronicles chapter 21 verses 12 to 15 almost about many 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 years after Elijah had been taken up to heaven suddenly a letter from Elijah comes to a king how can uh, Elijah write a letter when he's already up in heaven how is it possible this is related to what i just shared with you earlier if this this is the Elijah if you can believe this is the elijah to come these are some deep mysteries that can only be understood when you walk in that realm of course you all are wonderful saints willing to believe elijah writes a letter and he sends the letter after he's gone to heaven how is it possible there is a kind of ministry in the spirit of which we do not know yet and they did the same kind of ministry to the lord jesus christ if you read in luke chapter 9 verses 30 to 31 on the mount of transfiguration moses and elijah appeared before the lord jesus and they communicated with him they talked with him about the sufferings that he was going to go through the death that he was going to accomplish they talked with the lord jesus christ and explained to him this is what you are going to go through that so there's a ministry in the spirit and the elijah company will do those kind of ministry in the spirit number 9 the miracles that elijah performed were never for self glory if you read first kings chapter 18 verses 36 to 39 before he called down fire from heaven he prayed lord i do this for you hear my prayer three times he said that hear my prayer lord hear my prayer hear my prayer I'm doing all this according to your word which means that plan of making the altar was given to him by God say so go and do set up an altar and then come on fire to come down so he prayed for all to hear that he was doing not to promote himself but to demonstrate the glory of God the moses company and elijah company will be the people who have lost their self identity you have died to yourself you have crucified your flesh you have died to your reputation only such people can be part of the elijah company and moses company because 
the amount of glory and the power and the authority that these two companies will walk in they must be people who will not take the glory for themselves they must be so meekful and humble like Moses and they must be a people who are selfless nameless purposeless not purposeless ministryless like Elijah then you will not build for yourselves a kingdom whatever you do it's all for the glory of God so it's not for self glory you know just because you are tired driving from San Francisco to Los Angeles a six hours journey say Lord now transport me <laughs> Lord I am tired of flying 22 hours from Chennai India to Los Angeles transport me <laughs> now that is flesh but if you are on the master's business the master may seem fit to do that I remember reading about a man in Kenya the Lord told him how godly he is I don't know so he prayed one day and the Lord said I want you to go to London pack your bags and go to London so this man is a poor minister of God then doesn't have much money and, and the Lord told him on a particular day go to the airport and go to London so he packs his bag and he goes to the airport in London I mean in Kenya so he stood at the entrance and he asked the Lord so what shall I do now Lord he has no money no air tickets no visa so he's standing there at the airport and the Lord told him go to the men's room and go to cubicle number 3 and wait there <laughs> so he goes to the men's room he looks at cubicle number three and he gets into the cubicle locks the door and he asks the Holy Spirit what shall I do next lift up your hands and worship God so he lifted up his hands and he worshiped the Lord at the top of his voice and after a few minutes then he heard the Lord say okay enough now you can go out so he came out and step into Heathrow Airport <laughs> in a few moments he was transported from Kenya to London and after he finished his work I don't know how he got back <laughs> because that part of the story I don't have <laughs> but that man of God was a very humble unassuming man since such a work was done not for self glory not because you want to go on a cruise or a tour Lord I want to take a vacation but I have no money transport me please <laughs> it won't work like that you must die daily totally crucify the flesh your name your reputation all crucified so that the I factor does not live in you anymore you must come to that that level but it doesn't matter whether your name is eroded down downtrodden upon step upon doesn't matter insulted defamed the dead knows nothing if you know something you're not dead yet you're still in a coma 
the dead knows nothing if we know something which means we have not died yet because it still pinches now we still feel the pinch when our name is defamed we still feel angry means we are still not dead yet the dead knows nothing if you are dead it doesn't matter anymore right doesn't matter anymore so let's all die <laughs> finally when people withstood them moses and elijah what happened to them if you read numbers chapter 16 verses 1 to 40 when kora and dathan withstood moses leadership moses commanded the earth opened up and he went straight to hell in bodily elijah went to heaven bodily these guys went to hell bodily what a privilege <laughs> i always get a thrilled when i read that you know they went bodily to hell you don't want that do you no now elijah when they withstood him second kings 1:10 tells us fire came from heaven and consumed them likewise in revelation chapter 11 verse 5 says the last days elijah company and moses company those who withstand them fire comes out of their mouth to consume them to ashes and you heard bobby share the other day that people who withstood his ministry they dropped dead or they went nuts no those are th- such incidences can be isolated in the past but they will become common occurrences in the last days common occurrences but you just don't go and point your finger at anyone who stands against you you know i wish you dead uh, please don't do that you can do that my dearly beloved brothers and sisters god is waiting for you to die are you willing are you willing to absolutely lay down all lay down all so that this glory of the powers of the age to come can rest upon you are you willing to pay any price so that you can just see the beauty and the glory of the king are you willing to be so consumed with the zeal of god that nothing else matters to you except the knowledge of the holy one of israel are you willing to totally crucify your flesh so that you can walk in total holiness and be transformed from glory to glory unto the image of the lord jesus christ the eyes of the lord jesus christ even now is scanning all throughout this auditorium seeing the hearts and the minds of everyone here who you really are we do not know who we really are we think we know but who you really are only the lord can see only he can see because his eyes can pierce through the soul and the spirit his eyes can pierce through the thoughts and the intention it divides and he sees through who you really are you know what we should do
we should humbly bow down before the Lord and just say Lord search me try me Lord know me Lord see what is inside me Lord and help me to totally consecrate myself I want to consecrate myself I want to totally yield myself to you Thank you wonderful God I hear an angelic being saying total yielding is very costly it is painful it is a path of loneliness it is a path of exclusion it is a path of isolation but those who are willing to lay down they are all just like our master and our lord was willing to lay down his entire life on the cross nothing holding him nothing even covering him totally bare absolutely surrendered absolutely yielded and absolutely having lost the consciousness of the i because in him we read he considered not his reputation are we willing you search your hearts now you search your hearts